so we're going to take a look at another individual and an attempted progression on the core pad. So Holly's going to spin this way and we're going to take a look at her extension. Um, and as she goes backwards, it's uh, a little more limited than Meredith's was. And what's the sensation like when you go into that extension? That's it. Okay, so it just feels solid, stop, doesn't feel painful. Okay. But we're, I'm not going to assume that she's going to get to the same level. In fact, with the trouble that I know she's had in her past, I probably would have originally started her out on level one because in the beginning you had some stuff. And so um, I think we're at a place right now where we can go to the level two. So let's go, the big question is, is she going to make it to three? And uh, even bigger question, is she going to make it to four? So I have a tendency to start her off as we did with the progression with Meredith, where her bottom's on the table and her shoulders are off in hopes that she can kind of roll off the apex of this thing and she doesn't quite make it. That's still pretty tough for her. It's actually harder to roll off of it when it's not very high because you don't have the slant to get up and over. So let's just try just for fun to scoot. Yep, try that. This may get her to tighten and slow it. So that's, that's a little better, isn't it? Yeah. So we did make a notch easier by scooting to, uh, towards her hips, towards her feet, to create that easier starting place. And then, you know, the big question is, see, she stay, she's shaking right there, she's working hard. I'm going to go ahead and push down just a little bit here to give her a solid anchoring place, which immediately makes her contraction more solid. Because before, it wasn't so much that she was fatiguing, it's that lack of support thing that I'm telling you right now, you've got to re-examine, folks, and you've got to do it objectively, because the world wants to tell you, you don't need support, that's cheating. Guys, that is not the way it works. If you try to have a tug of war on ice, I don't care how big and strong you are, if your feet don't have anything to push against because you're slipping around on the ice, you don't get to exert any of that strength that you developed. So in this example, for developing contractile ability here, we're going to need an anchor. So um, we might try to progress. Let's just go a little bit, scooting that way. Yep, whoa, 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 plenty. Nice and slow. Really nice and controlled. Feel okay? Yeah. So there's a little bit of that progression. Now here's the next thing. Go ahead and sit up if you don't mind. Without a doubt, based on what she showed us before, our uh, understanding of her history and being cognizant of all that, I'm going to level three. I'm not skipping to level four like I did with Meredith. So we're going to give this a shot. And I'm not going to assume it's going to go well because that's part of being cautious. And I want your butt I'm going to scoot it. Yep, you're good, you're good. I'll just move the pad for now. I want this easy. So you see where I positioned her for easy? Can you see how it's under her, her shoulders and stuff are on this and her butt's completely off? So now she's getting more help than she did with the lower level. Because my goal is to create what she can do and find slowly what she can't. If you start with something they can't do, you can't adapt to what you can't do. That was really nice, at least from my point of view. The big question is how did it feel to you? Like is that all right? Not, not as much distance, is that what you mean? In the crunch range? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But that looks really good and it looks really controlled. And if I'm gonna scoot her back, I'm gonna do it in such small steps, so just, just a little bit, try that, because you could always add more, you can't always take it away if it's too much. Full shortening and all the way back. So you're also looking at a, a lot of years of practice here and improvement and getting rid of some complications she had, but you're looking at a high level of skill. And that's part of what makes this thing successful. Just laying down and just doing it like Nike re recommends, I don't think is a good idea. So I don't know that today I would necessarily go up to a four, and I don't know I'd necessarily scoot any further that way. Because once again, if someone's gonna make progress, you can't take them to a point of inflammation, you can't take them to a, a, a smashing against an internal barrier, You've got to slowly work those directions. It has to stay within a position, although you're challenging them, but the challenge has to be appropriate. And that's probably appropriate for her for today. Cool? Mm -hmm. Thanks.